Hey Juju fans, it's time to start on our next busy book page. We're going to do the crayons today. Are you ready? So for the busy book page today, we're going to do the crayons. I'm going to use mostly primary colors or bright colors for the crayons and uh, you can use whatever colors you like. We're gonna need ones for the crayons and then ones for the um, item that it matches up to, like the sun and I think there's a cat and uh, whatever else, there's, there's several things. So we're gonna need felt for both of those parts so that the child can match up the design. And um, on a funny note, so those that are doing, so one thing is I love seeing everybody's designs. I've seen um, Eileen and Brooke and Lori and Libya and Liz and Donna are, are working on there. So it's fun to see them coming together. And I love that you guys are joining in the fun. So a few of you are doing the farm page. I haven't done, or the farm book. I haven't done that, but I thought that this was really funny. So back in the day, I owned a cookie business and um, I made this book for my grandkids and it's very similar to the farm um, design where you match up the stickers. So I made stickers of all the various cookies and they match them up to the page in the cookie book. So isn't that funny? It's basically the same thing as the farm book. So I should make the farm book for my grandkids too. I know they'll love that. So anyway, today is the crayon page and let's get started. And don't forget to share photos in the comments of the post. That's what makes us all on together fun. So let's get going.
you and Claire about the uh, pinning process and how that works with the hooping and getting things lined up. I was a little bit curious about it too. In fact, in other projects that I've done, I just bypassed that step because I didn't really understand the purpose of it. And now I get it. So here's a little video. I hope it helps to explain. It really makes it easier to align things up. Here you go.